Here we have the chlorate ion, ClO3 minus, and we want to find the molecular geometry. So we have a Lewis structure, and that's going to help us look at the two-dimensional structure, but it's not going to tell us the three-dimensional structure. So for the chlorate ion, ClO3 minus, let's find the molecular geometry, or shape. Looking at the Lewis structure, we can see that there are three oxygens and there's one lone pair of electrons. In accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, they're going to spread out. They're going to push away from each other, so they're as far away as possible. We'll still bond it to that central chlorine. When they do that, that's what's going to give us our shape. We can use the AXN notation to help us determine, to predict that shape. So A, that's the central atom, that's our chlorine, we have one of those. X, that's going to be the number of atoms bonded to that chlorine atom. We have three of those. And then N, that's the non-bonding electrons, or the lone pair of electrons there, and we only have one pair of those. So we have AX, 3N, and we can look that up, and we can see going down our table, here at the bottom, there's AX3N, and it's a trigonal pyramidal or trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry, and the bond angles are 109.5. Since this is a general table, they're not going to be exactly 109.5, but they'll be around there. So we end up with a molecular geometry of trigonal pyramidal with bond angles of about 109.5 for the ClO3- ion, the chloride ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.